Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. Stop the bus! What now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. <laughs> Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the Berrykins to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I know the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh... We needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby parakins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard, well, someone slinking. Oh. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... <sighs> it was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I, I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid. You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, think of what's ahead? A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. Oh, look! It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, Sweet Beats. We can practice our song on the way. When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Lemon, your mood nails turn.
turn blue. Are you sad? I was just thinking... Raspberry screen skirt is so outrageously wonderful! I don't know if my mood nails make much of a statement. Well, I think they're great. Thank you, but... Well, you'll barely see them in the webcast. They're not as prominent as, like, a hairstyle or... <gasps> ah! That's it! Forget mood nails. I'll do moody hair. We'll call them moodies! Whoa! Wow! It's kind of last minute. Can you pull that off in time? The contest is tomorrow. I can try. And I always have the mood nails as backup. Well, you better get to it. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Here goes nothing! Juice cables! <gasps> it's not alive, is it? No, it's the sparkleberry juice that makes it move that way, and the energy of the emotion of whoever wears it. Behold! Moody hair! Hey, Orange, I haven't been to many fashion shows, but aren't you supposed to have a model? What's going on in the dressing room? Sorry, it's taking longer than we thought to reroute all the screen skirt cables. And we haven't even added the moody hair yet. <sighs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't try to change tops. Just model one outfit. Can't have a fashion show with only one outfit. We have to find a figure of... A way! Uh, we got to model at least four different tops with the screen skirt. But how? Even with both of us helping, she can't change that fast. You're always wanting us to Here be comes exactly peace and harmony. Hi, girls. We would love to watch your fashion show. Is that okay? What? We? You dragged me here. A little early for Halloween, isn't it? You're very welcome to watch. Excuse us for a second. Psst, I've got an idea. Oh! Why not use the twins as models? That way people will think it's just one model, and you can have one on camera while the other is changing. Might work. But we wanted to feature you in your kitchen, Strawberry. Strawberry would still be in the video clips on the skirt. Good point. Let me ask him. I thought the theme was technology in fashion, not monotony in fashion. I'm sure they're just ironing out some glitches. Ironing? Fashion? Clothes? <laughs> Funny, huh? No. Um, excuse me, Sour. Sweet. We have a problem we think that you could help us with. We're wondering if you could take over from me in the fashion show and be our models? <gasps> Oh, we're so flattered. Yes. W hold up. Why would anyone want to look at me? Sour, you're gorgeous. Well, of course you would say that. You look just like me. Well, you also have personal flair. I don't. You do. You have more. That's silly. Everyone will be looking at you instead of me. Won't. Well, girls. Only one of you will be on stage at a time. We have so much to do by tomorrow. Please? There's no time for arguments. There's always time for arguments. Like jelly beans. You can't have just one. Come on, Sour. It'll be fun. Oh... Okay... Thank you so much for thinking of us, Strawberry. Are you sure this moody hair thing is gonna work? Wow. It really does work. I'm impressed, Lemon. <sighs> Is, um, something wrong, Sour? <sighs> Sweet's hair looks better than mine. Oh, I think I get it. Sour's hair is green with envy. <laughs> Trust me, Sour. If both your hairstyles aren't fabulous, it'll be just as much my reputation as yours. Now remember, girls, the fashion webcast is tonight, so you'll have to keep your moodies on for the rest of the day. Moodies? Oh, that's cute, Lemon. I'll see you at rehearsal in half an hour. We'll be there. What's with you and this we thing? We're twins. Huh, not if I can help it. Hmm. Night to Queen's Four. <laughs> Checkmate. 
Aw, oh, muffin crumbs. The Royal Highnesses, Your Majesties. Mommy, it's not fair. <gasps> it's all her fault. She told me to go around the toll booth. It was my barricade of waiting. She wouldn't do what I told her. I want a do-over. Yes, we demand a do-over. Now, daughters, calm down. Have either of you the royal goldenberry? I would have had it, but she ate out it. on it. Did not eat too. Here it is. <gasps> well done, Strawberita. Ever so clever of you, darling. Each of your challenges, you showed kindness, generosity, and resourcefulness. All virtues becoming to a ruler of a kingdom. She cheated! She didn't show any of those... those... things! Yeah! Things! Whatever! She cheated! We know! We were there! As was... <gasps> the troll who takes the toll was kind enough to give us a report of your behavior. Lemonella, Rasbolina, I am ashamed by your lack of manners. He wasn't even there when we had to cross the lake. Oh, but I was. <gasps> Toss me overboard and sink me. It's pure bilge they speak. These two swabs were very rude. Well, Princess Strawberryta was a sweet lass who shared her lunch with a sea dog. I'd scupper those two scallywags and promote this last to captain. I... Uh, excuse me, Your Majesties, but I cannot take credit for the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> <gasps> you see, there was someone who guided me all along the way and gave me good advice. And that was... The Littlest Barricade. <sighs> this Royal Goldenberry should belong to you. <gasps> Goldenberry Fairy, and I know everything about you, Princess Strawberryta. You are not only kind, giving, and clever, and humble. Did I mention honest? Well, honest, too. By giving credit where credit is due, you have passed the final test and proved that it is <gasps> you who are worthy to rule the kingdom. <laughs> Aw, we have been fairies. really spoiled! Well, darling, it's off to the islands. Oh, oh, I, oh I can help you out. Oh, oh, wow, wow, oh, take you back. No problem at all. Well, okay. My beloved royal subjects, my first royal decree is to promote the littlest barricade to royal counselor. Hooray! And so, the littlest barricade proved that it doesn't matter how little you are, you can still do very big things. And so... Under the kind, generous, wise, and humble rule of Queen Strawberryta, the kingdom flourished and everybody lived... Very happily ever after! Well, not quite everybody. You told me we'd reach a stellar kingdom run by a knockout prince by nightfall, and it's getting dark now! I said no such thing! That was your idea! It wasn't! I'm hungry! It was! This is your fault and your fault! <laughs> 